So should we as engineers still focus on getting engineering accreditations? Or should we start focusing more on the MBA? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks to all of you guys that have subscribed. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Press that red button below and also press the bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. So thank you to those of you guys that have been reaching out. Some of you guys have been sending me direct messages on LinkedIn. A lot of you guys have been sending me emails, which is great. And let's keep those channels of communication open. I think it's great that we network and start creating contacts and connections because a lot of us do have the same aspirations, the same ambitions, and I do feel that we can learn a lot from each other. I'm also passionate around sharing my own experiences and sharing also from what is out there so that people that are going through the same journey don't have to face the same challenges that I did or that some of us did when we were going through it initially. One of the discussion points that have come up and some of the things that we're discussing right now is around whether engineers should start focusing more on the MBA and less on the accreditations that um, we've got for engineering, like your GCC and your PR Eng and whatnot. You guys would have seen that I've started posting some content and videos on the PR Eng, and that a lot of the content has been out there on the GCC. And now there are questions around, should we focus more as engineers on getting the MBA? So remember, as engineers, we've always been told about professionalism as engineers and any qualification, whether it be a PR Eng, a GCC, or even if you continue to study further and get your master's and even your doctorate in engineering, it's more around the engineering discipline. It's exposure to more of the technical skills, the technical principles and disciplines within engineering so that we can apply them back in the workplace. It's very interesting. One of my managers when I was still a young and up and coming engineer actually challenged and asked me to say, you've got this desire and this aspiration to become a certified engineer, but then there's a ceiling to your career because in some organizations and in some workplaces, as soon as you become an engineer, the highest level you can get to is whether it's lower middle management and it's more of your strategic thinkers or your finance individuals, your BCom, your BAs that get to grow further up the, the organization and into senior leadership positions and ultimately sitting up on the board. So this is why I want to speak about the MBA. We need to remember what some of the benefits are in a master's in business as opposed to a master's in engineering. So a master's in engineering, that'll channel you more into a specialist field because you're going into detail on a certain topic. So then you become your subject matter expert. Whereas with the business qualification, you get to understand worldly, globally what's happening, some of the drivers economically, and also develop your strategic thinking. There are five key benefits in getting an MBA. One is that it builds up your confidence. We learn the more confident we become. And also with an MBA, which is seen to be one of those qualifications that you get as you're growing towards senior leadership positions. So it does boost up your confidence levels. One of the benefits of an MBA is that it develops you on your strategic thinking. So not only are you practical, not only are you focusing on the here and now, which is what a lot of engineers do, is that we focus on resolving the problem here and now so that we ensure that we get the operation running. We want to make sure that the project are delivered on time we're designing for the current situation some of us are designing for the future but with an mba you're looking more at the bigger picture and not getting down to the detail so with colleagues with mbas we've been having discussions i know they've been talking to me about pursuing an mba and it's still something i'm still thinking about right um but one of the benefits is that they've got a bigger worldview so they understand and are looking into more around what's happening globally, what's happening in other countries, politically, economically, and how that influences strategically how their current business operates. I've seen happen with individuals with MBAs is they get exposed to more job opportunities. So whether they've got an engineering qualification or not, they're exposed to more open doors. Not to say with an engineering qualification, you don't have as many job opportunities. Definitely you do, especially if you've got a GCC or a PR Eng. But with an MBA as well, it is recognized and is becoming more and more recognized by businesses. One of the benefits of an MBA is that you gain credibility as well. And not only do you gain confidence in yourself, but others gain confidence as you. So it increases your credibility in the workplace. So with all of those benefits that I listed, whether it's credibility, strategic thinking, confidence in yourself, understanding more of the world's problems, a world view, and getting a better world view, and also opening up job opportunities. An MBA actually can complement you and your engineering qualification. What you need to do, though, is to be clear on why you're looking to get any qualification. So if you're looking to be in a specialist field, 
if you're energized and passionate about getting down to every single detail and making sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's, then definitely do go for your specialist fields. If you're looking to get your hands dirty, understand your field and understand and build your technical acumen, but also are looking to grow up your leadership journey and up the leadership ladder, then definitely do consider getting an MBA, especially as you grow and progress in your career. So it's not to say that the MBA and the engineering degree conflict at all. In fact, they complement one another depending on what your aspirations and your ambitions are with your own career. So if you have been wondering whether to go for that GCC or that MBA, think about what it is long-term you're looking to achieve, what type of person are you, what energizes you, and what is it that you're looking to gain with those qualifications. I'll continue to post a lot more around engineering, career development, and leadership. Comment below if you would pursue an MBA. And if you've got one, what are you seeing as the benefits of having an MBA? Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Shabbat.